we uh, we need to. What do you think? We need to deliver this car before I go to the penitentiary. <laughs> I'm gonna agree with you. This one. car is fun. Sounds like a dinosaur. T-Rex. Yeah, buddy. Now that's you. <laughs> Man, it sure drove good on those curves. I, it I did. It rode it good. Built that front suspension. It drives like a new car. I, is it a, yeah, it's a five-speed. Oh, uh, I can't drive that stuff. Well, this one's pretty. I can barely drive it. It's pretty fast. <laughs> How's the clutch in it, Bama? Is it stiff? So we're going to check out my buddy's 69 Z28. It's supposed to be a bit of an animal. You believe this? Man, it's empty in here. What happened? I bought one old truck that do my, when I build the house with, you know. Runs great, I've got a new motor in it. Used to be full of old cars. She had that for Christmas. I built it for her. Let's see what Santa's got in his workshop. What you got in there, Santa? I got one of those, one of those barn vines. Santa Claus, what you got going on? <laughs> I got a, little, a barn vine, Z28 69. <laughs> Now this is a car that you were chasing for some time. Chased that car for two years. 
Finally got the guy to sell it to me. And it's too fast for me, really. It's got a Jay Presley built engine in it. Probably, it's a 408, probably 600 horsepower. Wow. With a five speed. But it still has a, still has the born with, uh, look over there behind you, go going right behind you, the rock crusher laying in the floor there. The original four speed came in the car and, and supposedly the 302, but I don't know if it is or not. I know the rock crusher is it. Muncie. They call that the rock crusher because of the way the gears are cut. They're noisy. Then I got a Model A I'm, chassis I'm doing for a veteran. I got, you know, I build those cars for veterans and then surprise them. Yeah, a, this will probably be the last one I do for, for a while. Getting too old in the body right here. The 30 sedan body, and this this will be my last one right here, 55 post. This is your baby. I had a my first car at 14 was a 55 Chevy Post, and so I finally traded and sold off, and this is what I ended up with. And uh, the guys down at uh, uh, Dripping Springs, Dripping Paint and Body, they'll do all the floor. I've already traded some stuff for them, and they'll do the quarters and the floors. And, they're just, they're fantastic, do a great job. Now this is a two-door post? Yeah. Is it a 210 or 150? I think it's probably a 210, I don't know. Yeah, they stripped off of it. Yeah. But it's, uh, it needs everything, you know, floors, quarters, like they always do. It's sitting on a one-piece frame, but I bought a, okay. I've got a four-door. California frame. Yeah, I've got a four-door uh, that I bought that's got an LS conversion that I drive, and a buddy of mine's changing the tank out for me. So I'm going to pull that four door body off and put the two door body on it when they get the shell done. And that's it. That's it out of 40 cars. That's going to be the last one. <laughs> I'll have to show everybody some of the stuff that you had around here oh from some God. of our earlier visits. Over the years. The old yeah. Edsel and. Oh Man, my God! Yeah, that Edsel, that was that, that was, was a cool story. Mickey, my buddy Mickey, got that car. He loved that car. He pulled up here, came over, and just got in it and drove off. <laughs> he didn't even ask me if it was for sale. <laughs> he just had to have it, you know. But this is a great, this is a great car. Uh, Daytona blue white stripe. This is one that you told told me about a few times when we were having lunch, just getting together. I bet this buddy of mine had this car, and. He built it 15 years ago. I've, I've probably seen him drive it three times over those years. And he finally called me one day. It's still got the air cleaner. I mean, and the valve covers that came on the original 302. You told me he didn't want to shake loose of this one for he a would long never, time. He would never sell it. And uh, you must I mean, have caught him in the right mood. Still got the original rallies. Yeah, it's three, uh, it's got a. Uh, Let's Three, see that 370 uh, 12 bolt P track in it, but it's unassuming. Under it, the hood. It's, a, it's an 11 second street car that you you would never have any idea this car has got this kind of power. Mm -hmm. but Jay Presley built this built this engine. Now who is Jay Presley? He's a guy from familiar. Austin that had Birdco race cars. He's uh, he's basically semi retired, but. He's built the pro stock car I had. He built that Daytona. Your Daytona, yeah. He built that car. He's built a bunch of them and uh, uh, a lot of you know seven second and six second cars and and uh, he could do any. He's one of those guys who could do any of it. And he built that engine for my buddy that had this car. And I'll tell you what, very seldom do you drive a car that scares you, but this scared me. This car really, it was too too fast for me. It would just spin them. It spin them in all five years <laughs> and he put one of those american powertrain five speeds and i mean this but this deal here look at this i mean i just, i love a z you know look at old paint is that, is that le mans blue or marina blue that, they called it daytona blue i think it's le mans blue you know it uh, i just like that color it, but he's got the original bumpers with the bumper guards this, this is the x77 so it had power steered and power brakes and it's still got them. I mean, it's and it drives just like a dream. Just, my God, it was fast. Let's look inside it. 
and he, he was under it. He kind of did some restoration on it, but it never did. The floors look perfect. He just put the sound deadener in. The trunk is absolutely just flawless. Well, still got the old AC tank. Isn't that cool? It's, I think it's had, and I'm almost positive, it's had one repaint maybe in its life, but... It, I wish no, folks could smell it. You can yeah. smell that old car. Oh, it's just, a, isn't that neat? But it sure drives good. I, I just love it. I mean, you can't... The door lines up, too. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. I mean, I, you know, yeah, I think fine. anything it. Uh, she's had a few. Yeah, she's had a... She's been put through the gears, but it still fits. Trim and everything fits pretty well. Man, we gotta hear it run. Yeah, I gotta. I don't have the key. I gotta get the keyboard. Yeah. yeah, it was a, it was a lot of fun. It was what's, what's funny is, uh, I just I had this operation on my foot. You can see my foot. Have a look. Yeah. Yep. So they cut off my big toe, and I thought I was gonna lose my whole foot. So I took my daughter and I went for. Her. I said, let's go for a ride. My surgery was like gonna be on that Monday. So we took it down here Sunday and I went through the gears, drove it like I stole it because I thought that might be the last time I get to you push a clutch in. <laughs> thought you might be a single train. Yeah, yeah, automatic from here on. And uh, so I jumped all over it. And all they did was just sit there and spin and boy, when it finally did hook, it was it was on its way. But uh, I've driven a lot of fast cars. So I got an idea about it. It'd be a, if you could get it to latch up, you'd have an 11 second car. Low 12, high 11, easy, I think. Because since I've known you, you've been pretty loyal to the general. You, you know, it's weird. Know a lot of GM I, products. I'm not married to any brand. It's funny. I like I like about anything, but it seems like I end up with these Chevrolets every time. But that's what most people Wasn't have. Wasn't your first car a Model A? Well, my very first car was at 55 Post at 14. Oh, that's right. And then when I sold it, uh, and I bought a, a Model A coupe built. So that Model was your a. second car was the A. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then... Uh, and over the years, I built a bunch of those street rods for, you know, so that's what I'm doing for this veteran. The last six or seven cars I've restored in here were for veterans. And then I would surprise them and give it to them. And, you know, they'd be ready to pay this big giant bill. And I just go, ah, it's on the house. And it, it, the feeling you get from that is better than any money I ever made on a car. You know, it's just great. And so that's this guy here. He doesn't even know them. Where uh, he had a pretty well beat up kind of a high boy deal and he had a guy did a really nice uh, top shop but I'm fabbing the chassis up for him I'll mock it up it's got a nine inch you know and uh, Pete and Jake stuff uh, Daigle helped me get all the parts uh, Gary Daigle and uh, Daigle's is the best if you get a chance you need to order your stuff from Daigle so anyway uh, we'll mock that up put it on four wheels and then he's going to take it from there and him and his dad are going to build this car together and his dad being the veteran so I got a soft spot for people that have been in the military, and but it was fun. I've done a bunch of different cars for those guys, and really, that it's just been a blast to do those. Mama, you're a good friend. It's been an honor to know you. Thank you, buddy. Glad to have you, you back down of, here. A lot of good for the people, and I'm I'm proud to to feature you on my, uh, my stuff. This is a great deal. This this is I don't know if it's what is a podcast or I don't know what you're doing, but know. it's neat. You know, I like looking at those videos about the cars. Well, cool, man.